The Blender add-on that you'll be needing in this video is called Import Pixelart. You can find the GitHub link in the description down below. Now, for newcomers that don't know how to install this add-on, I will make a small tutorial right now, but as for people familiar with installing add-ons on Blender, there will be timestamps or chapters available for you to skip ahead. So first, click the GitHub link and go ahead and go to code and download the zip file. Remember where you place that zip file. Now, you want to go ahead and go to the zip file, extract it. I already got extracted here. Keep clicking all the way until you get the .py file. Remember the location of where that .py file is you want to go to edit preferences go to add-ons on the side here you want to go ahead and go to install and find the location of where that .py file is once you've got it go ahead and install the add-on and to make sure that you installed the add-on type in import pixels in the search bar and make sure it's checkmarked now that we got that out the way we can start the video all right so now that you got the add-on installed what it allows us to do is to import our pixel art that is in the format of png gif or .bmp into blender and it's going to turn it into a 2d plane so I'm going to press F4 on my keyboard and I'm going to go to import. And as you can see here, there's a new option that says import pixel art and it shows the supported formats. So I'm going to click on it and I already got some pixel art in here and I'll show some examples of how it looks for transparent pixel art and pixel art with background. So first we got our pixel art here. And if we go to edit mode, as you can see, it's all evenly cut out and following the grid, which is great. However, there's one issue. If you go and select one of the vertices and drag it up, it is not connected to the other vertices. If we go into the face mode and move one of the faces of the pixel art, it's not all connected. So to fix this issue, you're going to want to go ahead and select all of this or just press A on your keyboard and then press M, which will merge. And we want to merge this by distance. Now, as you can see here, it removed 9,848 vertices, which is great. It removed all the extra vertices that we don't need. And you want to make sure that your merge distance is at the lowest, all the way at the lowest. If it's not, then it'll look something like this, which is all crazy. So make sure it's the lowest. So now that you got that out the way, your pixel art is now able to be extruded as you can see it's all connected you know you can extrude it you can move it now you know that it's all connected so to separate this we're going to select all of this press p on our keyboard uh separate it by loose parts so now we got our cool little guys and, you know we can do stuff with them extrude them out make them 3d 2d art like that stuff like this so another thing i'd like to show you guys is basically if you have pixel art that has a front and a back face texture um i will show you guys how to merge them into one mesh so first of all of course these are two separate planes so i'm going to press ctrl j to merge them and I'm going to go into edit mode. Now, once we're in edit mode, uh, you want to go ahead and make sure that, first of all, your back and front face textures are parallel to one another, which meaning that they, they both match up very evenly. Because if they don't match up, this will not work at all. So ours is matching up. So I'm going to press Alt Z on my keyboard so I can x-ray and see both sides as well as select both sides at once like this. So first of all, how do you merge both of these planes is I'm going to I'm in vertex select and I'm going to be using the select circle cursor as it's much easier to select all these uh, the edges of these. So I'm going to go ahead and select all these uh, edge vertex on here. OK, once that's finished, you can press two on your keyboard just to make sure that all the edges are selected. So now what you want to do is stay in edge select and you want to press control E on your keyboard and bridge edge loops. Now what this does is it literally um, connects both of them together. So now we have two planes connected to one each other. So you can press S, Y and scale it on the Y axis and boom, you have a 3D mesh now. Now here's an example of me importing pixel art without a transparent background. It'll do the same thing. I forgot to mention that there's two different options here. There's 2D mesh, which will import your PNG as a plane into Blender or there's separate cubes, which will import your 2D pixel art and make it 3D. Now how this works is it will literally make your pixel art 3D into separate cubes. I don't like this because it makes my computer laugh if it's a big uh, photo that I'm importing. However, if you just want a quick, you know, 3D model, I guess, uh, this is the option for you. Then. As for that, I will demonstrate what the pixel art add-on looks like with things with backgrounds. As you can see, it's the same thing, same dealio. Uh, of course, it'll always be separate to one another, the pixels. So, you know, I select all these, merge them by distance, and now it's all connected. The last thing I like to talk about is the resolution of your PNG photo matters, right? The bigger it is, the more laggier it'll be when you import them into blender for example this little pixel art of dr oak from pokemon is 16 by 16 and how the import pixel art works is it will literally cut out 16 by 16 pixels so if you import
import a photo that's like 1000 by 1000 it will give out individual 16 by 16 within that 1000 by 1000 resolution so keep that in mind that your resolution is very important the lower it is the better this works overall thank you for watching the tutorial video i hope you really got something out of this and if you still need help or are struggling please do comment down below hopefully i'll be able to answer your questions or someone else can besides that have a good one